So Sand Trap is a really useful way to hear yourself back, to uh, sing along with or play along with any kind of backing track, to loop specific sections that you, you want to work on and slow things down, etc, etc. So once you've got your Sound Trap account, if you want to start a new project, you're going to go enter studio and that is going to give you the project window and it's going to look like this. If you want to start something new, press music, add a new track um, and typically you're going to, you're going to choose voice and microphone. If you want to record something, it'll ask your, you if you um, can, if it, if it can use your microphone and just press allow. Um, the, it comes with this preset for computer mic enhancer. I usually just go clean, especially if I might want to record guitar and things. And then you just press R to enable the recording and you'll get this thing of using headphones. It's a better idea, if possible, to use headphones but choose the I'm not using headphone setting, even if you are, because that improves the, the sound quality. So it'll say monitoring has been switched off. I'm going to go through a couple of other controls. Down here is where you can press record, stop, rewind, play, etc. Um, this is the tempo setting. So um, if you're just playing along with an audio track that's been loaded into your project for you, and I'll go through that in a minute, um, you won't need to adjust this. If you're recording something and you want to click, this is how you make it faster or slower. So um, you can just put different tempos in there. Um, and you can switch it on or if you want to record or off if you don't want to hear it. So now when it comes to recording, just going to press record or start recording. And it'll tell you to get ready. And then you'll see that the cursor starts moving across and it's gonna, that's, that's the amount of time that's been recorded. If you press stop, what you can see here is the audio signal of my voice that's just been recorded. If I play that back, I'm gonna take that off. Um, if you play back what you just recorded, you, sh you should be able to hear it. So, I'm gonna get rid of that. Let's say that you've started something new. I just can I can just press delete to do that. If you've started something new and you've given this song a name, you need to press save for it to save inside your account. So I'll say saving project and I'll say done. Over here, um, there are some controls. Let's say you've recorded something in, that's you can mute it using clicking on this. And when that's, when that's purple, we won't hear this track or anything that's on it. This is if you only want to hear that track. And this is if you want to adjust the volume. You can also rename it to say, you know, which, which date you've done it or what instrument it is, if it's, if it's your vocal take or, um, so you can, you can change the name there. And then every time you've changed something, you're going to save it. So let's say that you have been, we've shared a track with you for you to work on at home might look something like this. Um, here we've got two tracks. One of them has vocals in it and one of them has doesn't. Doesn't. One of them doesn't have vocals in it. Um, I can mute the one that I don't want to hear and then I can play back the one I do want to hear. And then let, if I want to record myself singing along, for example, to the track that just has the instruments, I'm going to mute the track that has got the vocals in it. So now if I play this back, it's only I will only hear the um, um, the instruments and I can sing along with it and I can practice singing with it and then when I want if I want to I can then add another track and record myself singing along with it. So there's one or two other very helpful things. Um, this thing here um, will loop the section of the song. So anything that is within those mark those those the selector is going to get looped and that section will be played over and over again. If you're working on a specific guitar or vocal lick, that is incredibly helpful. Or if you want to try out the same lines with different um, vocal phrasing or different guitar phrasing, that is going to be really helpful right there. So um, to add a new track, you just do this and you, you pick which kind of track it's going to be. Um, 
these other things, even if you plan to play a guitar in, still choose the microphone because um, these use a slightly different technology called MIDI. And um, right now we just want to concentrate on things that you're going to record in. So potentially if we've shared a track with you, um, there's the possibility for us to um, write down some feedback in this little chat panel here. Um, and so you may get a little note or if you have a question about it, you can always ask that and we'll, we'll receive that question. Um, so that is how you create a track in Inside Soundtrap, how you um, record something into it, how you mute and unmute and how you sing or play along with something that's already in there. Um, there'll be another, there'll be other videos on how you can do other things, but that's the, that's the first bit.